welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is product degradation product degradation in the pharmaceutical industry refers to the chemical physical or microbiological changes that occurs in a pharmaceutical product over time potentially affecting its quality safety and efficacy what are the different types of product degradation broadly the product degradation in the pharma industry can be divided into three categories first chemical degradation this is due to chemical reactions such as hydrolysis oxidation or photolysis second type physical degradation this includes changes in physical properties of the product such as appearance solubility or dissolution rate and third type microbial degradation contamination by microorganisms leading to spoilage or reduced effectiveness what are the different causes or factors of product degradation in pharmaceutical industry first cause environmental factors temperature that is heat humidity light exposure oxygen or carbon dioxide can catalyze degradation reaction second type formulation factors incompatible excipients impurities in raw materials or poorly optimized formulation design third type storage condition improper packaging or storage outside recommended conditions and fourth manufacturing process insufficient quality control during production such as improper drying or sterilization can cause product degradation what is impact of product degradation reduced potency toxic by products altered appearance and regulatory non compliance are some major impacts of product degradation this one is very important question question is what are the common product degradation pathways there are five common product degradation pathways first hydrolysis here breakdown of apis or excipients occurs due to reaction with water second oxidation here reaction of api with oxygen happens and leading to loss of potency third type photolysis degradation caused by exposure to light fourth racemization conversion of drugs enantiomer into its optical isomer and fifth polymerization unintended reaction leading to the formation of higher molecular weight substances important one what is the role of excipients in controlling product degradation you can refer below table for excipient their role in controlling product degradation and examples first antioxidants antioxidants prevents oxidation by neutralizing free radicals or scavenging oxygen second buffers buffers maintain optimal ph to minimize hydrolysis or other ph dependent degradations third type chelating agents they bind with metal ions to reduce catalytic oxidation fourth moisture scavengers they absorb moisture to prevent hydrolytic degradation and fifth coating agents they are used in tablet manufacturing industry or tablet manufacturing process to create a barrier to protect from light moisture and oxygen why product degradation should be avoided in the pharmaceutical industry product degradation can lead to the formation of unwanted chemicals or degradation products that can affect the drug's efficacy these products can be toxic or cause unwanted side effects which can pose serious health risk to the patients what is role of packaging material in preventing product degradation packaging materials like amber color glass and uv blocking containers protect drugs from light induced degradation while oxygen barrier materials like aluminum foil and nitrogen flushing prevent oxidative degradation what preventive measures or controls we can implement to minimize product degradation here four important preventive measures or control that we can implement to minimize product degradation are mentioned first formulation development formulating the drug in a way that minimizes the degradation second packaging design choosing appropriate packaging materials to protect the drug from environmental factors third storage conditions storing the drug at the correct temperature and humidity and fourth stability testing regularly testing the drug for stability under different conditions what are the key indicators of product degradation appearance changes odor changes assay failure dissolution issues and ph variations are the key indicators of product degradation 
what are the threshold limits for degradation impurities as per ICH Q3BR2? You can refer below table for threshold type description and limit. The three important threshold types are reporting threshold, identification threshold and qualification threshold. Why stability studies important for product degradation? Stability studies are important as they determine shelf life, storage conditions and degradation pathways of drugs. What is forced degradation studies? Forced degradation studies involves exposing drugs to extreme conditions to identify potential degradation pathways and products. The five important stress conditions are first heat 40 to 80 degrees Celsius for accelerated thermal degradation process, second light UV or fluorescent light for photolytic degradation, third moisture high humidity example 75% relative humidity to induce hydrolysis, fourth oxidation exposure to hydrogen peroxide or oxygen rich environments and fifth pH extremes acidic or basic conditions. What are the advanced techniques to detect product degradation? Chromatography by using HPLC, UPLC or GC, spectroscopy, mass spectrometry, thermal analysis and microscopy are the advanced techniques to detect product degradation. Last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for product degradation in pharmaceutical industry. ICH guidelines including ICH Q1AR2 stability testing of new drug substances and products, ICH Q1B photo stability testing, ICH Q1C and Q1F for various stability testing scenarios and WHO guidelines for stability studies for products in developing countries and extreme climates are the commonly referred guidelines for product degradation in pharmaceutical industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.